trucking in the First World War was starting to take off. This is a 1917 FWD made by the Four Wheel Drive Company in Clintonville, Wisconsin. They start producing trucks in about uh, 11, 12 successfully with this design. Eventually what happens by the time of the First World War, they will produce 20,000 of these trucks to be used by both the United States military and the British. The British would order 2,500 in excess of with 1,500 getting to France. So they had cargo vehicles, they had ammunition vehicles, they had all these different designs. But if you think about a military moving, the bulk of that would be cargo, supplies, food, all that, ammunition. This is important in the First World War, unlike the armored car, because this is bringing the supplies forward for the, the crew that's in the, those armored cars to use. When you're standing beside it, you'll notice how tall the vehicle is. It is really high off the ground. It's called a cab over engine, meaning the, the driver sits on the engine. It's a lot of weight, it's three tons, so he, uh, you know, it, it would be a little bit of a stiff drive, especially the positioning of the steering wheel. What happens at the end of the war is the Model Bs become surplus. This was purchased from Washington, where it was being used as part of the Good Roads movement. When it came in, though, it was essentially a rolling chassis. It had the four tires and the frame. That was it. All the other parts were in boxes. Because we had the rolling chassis, we had a good place to start. So we were able to rebuild the frame, rebuild the engine. The staff would restore the things like the steering wheel and the seats were all custom built here. All the metal work were done. We were short one tire. And so eventually what we had to do when we couldn't find it is we made a cast of one of the existing tires and then built this onto a rim. This is urethane. So it took a number of years for us to go through and actually assemble the truck to an operating condition you see here. 